Hello everybody and welcome to the October 17th uh, update vi video. This is Martin. I, uh, I'm an Inkscape developer and uh, with the help of my Patreons, I hope to uh, develop Inkscape for users faster and better. So the first thing I want to do is give a big shout out to all of my Patreons. Thank you so much for continu continuing to support me. Uh, and if you would like to help me with the, the work that I do on Inkscape, uh, please find the, the link in the description below. So uh, this is another busy week, um, but I got derailed. So you'll remember last week I said I was going to work on the user interface for the for the loading screen. Um, I didn't get to do that. Hey, hey, Chris. Chris, are you there, lad? Um, hey, Doc, what's up? I was th thinking, I heard you had a couple of hours spare, and I was w wondering whether you could give us a hand. Yeah, sure, I can do yeah, that. Yeah, so what it is, is I'd like my uh, Patreon graphics to be spruced up a bit. Uh, yeah, yeah, just something to give them some, uh, I don't know, like make them attractive so I could get more more people to support Inkscape. Sounds good. Yeah? Patreon, eh? Yeah, I can help you oh. with that. For a price. <laughs> mm. <coughs> Excuse me. That sounds interesting. Go on. Yeah, maybe just a little um, JPEG export. Wait, JPEG export? Oh, no, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> no, look, I'm, I'm not doing that. No? Oh, come on, Doc. It's just the yeah. one file format. Chris, look. It's not it's gonna a, kill it's you. A bad format. I don't want to do it. Uh, okay. Hey, isn't that a free case of Yorkshire oh, Gold what? Tea over there? <sighs> Fine. It's what the users want. Thanks, Doc. Appreciate it. <sighs> yeah. So, in in exchange for him helping me um, improve the graphics that, that I use, uh, he asked me to implement JPEG encoding. Now, this is controversial because Inkscape, for the longest time, developers in Inkscape have said that you know, JPEG is a no good, dirty, rotten, scoundrel format for logos and vector graphics. It's it's more specifically to do with the fact that they're, they're vectors that you start with, and so the results that you end up with are, are not ideal. Um, but I had a sort of way around this particular thing, like... The idea that Inkscape itself would support JPEG, it, it's tricky because it's a lot of code and it's a lot of extra stuff, but I found a way around, around that. There's no need to, to do, do that. So what I've done for him instead, and also for, for everybody here, is that the next version of Inkscape will come with a um, raster export option for extensions. This means that anybody will be able to write a Python extension which can take the, the generated raster information and spit out a file for format that is not PNG or ping. Um, the example ones that I'm going to ship are going to be the JPEG exporter, which uses the Python image library, uh, the WebP format, and I've also added the ping or PNG, uh, OptiPNG uh, optimizer. This basically allows you to um, optimize the PNG export to reduce the file size automatically. Uh, these, these are examples I'm hoping will show that the uh, image exporter, the raster image exporter rather than the vector image exporter, is a, a sort of useful addition that, right, that, that anybody should be able to take the raster export and produce their own, whatever they want to do with the data, right? Um, so if you have some Python skills, uh, let me know. Uh, I'd be interested to see what you want to do, whether you want to turn the ping, the ping into like an animated GIF or something. These are all open to us now. Um, also this week, I did some improvements on the Inkscape website. Uh, I had a request from the, the developer team. They basically wanted to make sure that they could see future events and not necessarily see so much the past events in the in the team calendars 
So I changed the design so that it, it de-emphasized the past events, uh, split them out, some better navigation. They also wanted a copy button so they could copy the URL to the to the iCal file so they could just quickly add it to Google Calendars or to the Calendar Pro program. Um, so I added all that in. Um, <clears throat> what else happened this week? Oh yeah, I did some tidying on the modifiers code. So this is uh, this allows you to change the um, sh shift alt control modifiers when you're using the, the mouse. So say if you're trying to uh, you know create an object that has a fixed as aspect ratio. In Inkscape, this is the control key. In Illustrator, it's the shift key. It could also be the other way around. And uh, this basically allows you to configure that for yourself. So you can decide how Inkscape should work. Um, it needed more cleaning. It needed more um, more attention. So that should be ready now. Um, I, what, what I basically did is I made sure that you can select nothing as an option. So like if you do, if you want it to happen all of the time, like you want every single shape to have a fixed aspect ratio unless you press shift, uh, that's more possible now than it was before. Um, basically backend code and maintenance and Oh, I also ca categorized all of the items. So like in the in the settings, they're all neatly within a little tree. So you can see these are all uh, select things. These are all canvas things. These are all transformation things. Um, so it should make it easier to edit them. Um, and that's pretty much about it. I've been f fielding a lot of questions via Twitter. So th thank thank you very much to everybody who helped me come up, come up with the language for the J J JPEG exporter. It's pretty controversial having a warning about why JPEG is not a format that the Inkscape developers recommend you use. Uh, but we do know that there are plenty of users that use J JPEG, so being able to provide it at all uh, to us is, I think, a, a good thing. Um, please let me know uh, what you think I should work, work, work on next. Uh, please do share these videos so that um, we can hopefully get some more people to support my channel, support my my development in Inkscape, and so we can we can start picking up speed on this. Um, I'd like to be able to make this into something that is sustainable uh, for the future, and I, I can't do, do that without without everybody's help to try and push this for, from for, for, forwards. Um, it is my, my honest belief that I think that uh, free and open source and software should be um, paid for, it should be supported, it should be um, economically viable. And the only way it can be economically viable is if people uh, put their wallets into freedom. Um, I'm still coming up with the language, so forgive my uh, havering a bit. Um, but we're, we're going to give this a good go. So thank you very much, everybody, for your support. Um, thank you very much for listening, and have a very good week.